Hello, it's Claudia Belez of The Fashionista, and today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of a seam. I have a little miniature pattern here, it's a sleeve, and it's been drafted, and um, what we have on the outside, which I'm going to highlight in blue, is the seam allowance. Now the seam allowance allows us to join uh, two pieces of fabric together. Okay, so to simply put it is, it is basically additional fabric that allows you to sew two pieces together. So that is what the seam allowance is. So this is like the actual sleeve you need, which is not the blue. And then the blue part is just that additional fabric or inches that you need to um, sew it together. All right. So in order to sew a seam, a plain seam, we're going to get two pieces of fabric and uh, you're going to lie the first piece down with it facing the right side facing up. So you see that's the wrong side. The right side is the right side and the side that you want your garment to um, have as the outer side. Then I'm going to get the other piece and I'm going to lay that on top. That's face right side is facing each other and then the wrong side facing up. And um, the seam allowance that I'm going to use, it's going to be a half an inch. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you lay it down to prepare for sewing. I turned on my sewing machine and I have my sewing needle at its highest point. You can do that by just turning the wheel uh, on the side of your machine with your hand. So it's, this, so it, I mean, you, you just turn it and you know, I have a little notch on my machine that lets me know that it's at its highest point. Uh, and now I'm going to make sure that my bobbin thread and the thread I have on my spool, those threads are um, pulled a certain length, like maybe like an inch or two to the back and are, are laying you know back there away from the dog feet of your machine because you don't want to create any jam. So you want to make sure that that doesn't get um, caught up while you're sewing. And then I'm going to get my fabric, um, lining it up with whatever measurement I decide for the seam allowance, whatever you decide. I work with half an inch seam allowance. Um, if you want to do five quarter, five, um, five eighths of an inch uh, for yours, it all depends on what you do with your patterns or what whatever pattern you use with that seam allowance. And I'm going to drop my needle by turning my wheel towards me um, into my fabric. And I'm going to make sure that lines up with half an inch, uh, my, my, the end of my fabric, the edge of my fabric. And making sure again that my thread is back. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that needle, I mean that presser foot down. And making sure I hold on to the threads if you feel like you need to, you do that. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch with, you know, the presser foot. Uh, I mean with the... Um, you know, that pedal that you have down there to, you know, move your machine. And I'm going to do a reverse stitch. Um, do some reversing stitching. Um, I do at least a quarter so you can lock in your stitching. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew all the way down the seam or down the edge of this fabric to create me and my seam. And then when I get to the end, again, I'm going to do the reverse stitching. And raise your needle up to its highest point. Raise the presser foot up. And then I'm going to cut it. And there I have it. There goes my seam. All right, that's the wrong sides out, and here's the right sides. There goes the seam, and now we're going to go ahead and press it open. So just make sure you have a pressing cloth um, 
sometimes you want to do that that'll be like the in between that you would put between the iron and your um, fabric lay my um, pieces that I sold I'm gonna lay it out and iron it do that quickly and then I'm going to open the little garment that I created and I'm going to open up the seam, pull the difference, you know, the two seam allowances open and go down the middle with the iron. And there you have it. You have done a plain seam. So thanks for watching and I hope you return. Please share this video and give it a thumbs up. Take care.